how to level up in 2023 so that you can be happier. I'm not going to lie, life was sweet. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vima. How are you doing? We're in 2023, y'all. Wow. Okay, if this is your first time, welcome, 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 welcome. This is the part of my channel where I share adult lifestyle topics from the things that I've learned or the questions that you've asked me and also gives you the opportunity to teach me in the comment section the things that you learned on this particular topic and that's how we're doing better together. Make sure you subscribe. So let's dive into today's topic. How to level up in 2023 so that you can be happier. And this is coming from me just reflecting on how happy I was for the most part of 2022. And I'm gonna tell you this, in case you're a singleton like me, there was no man. No, I'm not in a relationship. Throughout 2022, I was single. I found I was very happy. Because I'm also a coach, when I learn something, I create a formula and I reuse it until it expires. So that's where this is coming from. So, 2022 on its own was very challenging, very rewarding, mostly because I chose to be joyful, whatever was going on. So point number one, ask for help. Yes, ask for help when you need one. Now I'm talking about mental health, I'm talking about physical health, I'm talking about all types of help that you're gonna need. You can get some of these things for free. If you're in the UK, you can get things like the Samaritans. If you're full-time employment or even part-time, you have an employer, Potentially, you have access to something called the Employee Assistance Program, which is a private confidential service that you just pick up the phone, some employers open it to you and your family. So you see, you can have them on a regular basis. If you need those mental health talk that you can't talk to your friends about, please, please, please go and talk to somebody. Get the help you need. So that's second point. Get a regular massage. Again, you're gonna say, Vivian, this is expensive. Really? How much does your well-being cost? I want you to pause and type in the comment section if you can summarize how much your health, your physical and your body and your mind health, how much does it cost? I also got a home massage remedy which someone within my network shared with me and I was like, boom, this is the best thing since sliced bread. And since then, I feel like I have a massage every evening. Mm, I do. In a jar here, it's a very amazing home massage ingredient. It's basically expired coconut oil, mm -hmm, the one in your kitchen, and some essential oils, lavender, and I think lemongrass. A few drops of those, put it in here. Every evening, I get to massage my shoulder after I've had a shower. I massage my shoulder, I massage my back, you know the history of my lower back, and by the time I'm done, like I'm feeling zen, I'm ready to sleep. Speaking on going to sleep, point number three. Darling, please get a sleepwear, I beg you. I See, see, those days of wearing boyfriend t-shirts, old t-shirts, ripped outfits to bed are over. You're over 35 now if you're watching me. What's going on sis? What, 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 why are you, why are you, why are you wearing that outfit that has hole everywhere to sleep? Why? Is it that deep? No, I don't think it is. So go and get yourself some sleepwear. You can go to charity shops. Mm-hmm. They don't have to be expensive. You can buy in the sale. Yes, yes. January sale is on. Go and update your sleepwear wardrobe. You know how I feel after I've done my body massage at night? And then I wear a nice sleep, comfortable sleepwear. I wake up feeling so good from inside and I'm happier. Stop wearing scarf around the house. Your spouse doesn't like it. Your mirror looking at you does not like it. I'm judging you. In case you're not judging yourself, I'm judging you. I'll stop flogging that point. You got it. <laughs> and drink water and look after your skin. I can't emphasize this enough. I did a whole video on how I lost weight on one of the things. Go and watch that video. I'll put the link here. One of the things that I emphasized on was that I practice drinking water every night. Even if I don't generally like drinking water before now, I made it a habit. Now, I move on. when I gave, got back from Zanzibar, I learned something which is called detox water where I put mint leaf, oranges, cucumber in my two liter bottle every day. And it just tastes 
fresher nicer and it makes me want to drink it drink water it's healthy for your guts for your skin i can't emphasize this enough so just drink water and then skincare skincare i did a skincare review recently on my instagram story go and check out my pr highlight all the details are there it's evidence skincare esk this is not a sponsored video by the way oh boy the moisture the moisture retainment in my face is amazing and not just my face my body i already showed you what i use for my massage at night right i also use it around all over my body and then i realized that when i touch my skin it's softer yes that makes me happy the things that will make you happy are free they are free and they are cheap sometimes they don't need to break the bank so don't let society be selling you dreams I'm telling you the things that I did and none of them so far have been crushed in the bank. So let's the fifth tip is practice letting go. Hey, this one saved my energy for 2022. Oh my God. So I used to be this person where even if I was falling from a cliff, I'm using the metaphor now. If I'm falling from a cliff, I'll still hold on to the thing that is making me fall. And I did, I'll fall and break my bones. Whereas, 2022 i just practice free fall if something is not holding on to me i let it go whether it's a dream whether it's a goal whether it's a person whether it's a thing whether it's a, an understanding whatever is not clinging on to me i just practice letting go i remember setting a an intention for my birthday i knew i was going to be disappointed but i was like god i want you to do this and it didn't happen and I let myself feel the disappointment and then I reflected after that and said baby and see how happy you can be when you force things. That was my cue to say letting go, letting go, like I said whatever it is you're clinging, that's not clinging onto you, let it go. And then the next point is sound counter to what I've just said, but I'm going to say it, don't you life alone don't do it see we were all built for relationships and i don't mean romantic relationships only i mean human relationships we were built that way i mentioned at the beginning of this video that i was single for all of 2022 right so my relationships were not necessarily romantic but i enjoyed it and i became happier by having the right people around me and boy life was sweet i'm not going to lie life was so don't do life alone whatever season you're at even when you have spouses i also know that even in long-term relationships people don't necessarily do life with their spouse every day hmm? now like they say leave that fake life you're seeing on the ground no spouses are not together every day so even when you're in a long-term relationship or marriage get a life <laughs> I sound like a hater, but I know what I'm talking about. Now let's move on to the next. Oh, you haven't subscribed until now. What what what, what are you waiting for? Well, click that button and tell me you subscribe in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing. Please also tell me which ones you want me to add to my happiness practice list for 2023. So let's talk about point number six. Point number six is your regular quiet time. People call this me time. Some people call it meditation. Some people call it prayer time. Whatever it means to you. It's a couple of minutes a day. Whatever time works for you, if you're a morning, you're an afternoon or an evening person, it does not matter. Just set out time during the day and just be with you. I'll tell you how I do mine. I have a couple of books that I read. I have a notebook, I have my Bible, I have my daily devotional, which is a devotional I pick up for the year and I just read it every day. And then I have my coaching, my regular everyday coaching cards because I'm a coach and I like to reflect. This practice does not take me more than seven minutes every morning and I do it Monday to Friday on failing list. So it has saved my life. My guts don't lie. So when I sit quietly alone, everything that my instinct, my guts, as a Christian, the Holy Spirit, God wants to tell me comes from under because it's been pushed down by all the noise of the day, it comes from under to the forefront. And then I get to redefine who I am on a daily basis. 
have a quiet time. Whatever season you are in your life, you can find five minutes. And I know you're looking at me and saying, Vivian, well, there's no, there's no enough time in the day. There isn't because you're prioritizing time for things that matter to you. If finding yourself on a daily basis matters to you, I promise you, you'll find the time. What is the final point? Ah, this one. The final point is what I'm doing right now. It has helped me be so much happier. Growing my passion. I love sharing. I enjoy talking. Someone once told me that the only gift God gave me was talking. I felt so offended. This was like eight years ago. I was so offended. I felt like a person said you talk too much. But boy, that was the voice of God. Honestly, I love to share. YouTube gives me the platform. Now, YouTube does not... <laughs> I'm not... I'm, Let's not, let's not talk about it. Whilst on holiday, I got up at 5.30 and all I was thinking in my mind was, I want to do this video, I want to share so somebody can be better. And that passion, honestly, that passion drives me and makes me happier. For all the videos I put out last year, especially my sit down adult lifestyle topics. Since I found these adult lifestyle topics, being comfortable to share my stories with you guys, I am so much happier. What are you passionate about? So you are passionate about something. Trust me, you've lived long enough to be able to do something that brings you joy. My ask to you is, regardless of whether it brings money, I'm not out here preaching side hustle. That's not the point of this. The payback it's giving you is happiness. See, when, when, when you follow your passion, your life is richer. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me what made you feel very happy for 2022 so that I too can pinch some of your happiness pills for 2023 because for 2023, hey, hey, even the Bible says the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. We are going to be happier out here. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Make sure you subscribe, share this video, your WhatsApp group, Facebook, your Instagram story, grab a link and share. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.